Saludos amigos de Entertainment Affairs, soy Ingrid Marie y me encuentro con Ryan McCarthy and Reeve Carney. How are you? Very good, thank you. Son las estrellas de The Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I, first thing I want to ask you, were you fans of the movie or you actually became part of the movie once you were in the show? Well, there are certain things about the Rocky Horror Picture Show that have found their way into society that are almost unavoidable. So I think I was a fan of aspects of the film before actually watching the entire the film in Without its entirety. Knowing. Yeah, but um, I, I, I didn't actually watch the film all the way through until I got the audition. Because um, it, it wasn't something that I watched as a child, mm -hmm. which is one reason I'm so excited for this new version, because I think it's something being broadcast at, in people's homes through the television. It's something that people will be able to choose to watch with their families if they, you know, I think it's, 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 a, it's a great thing to experience in that way, potentially. Yeah. You think it's going to be more like a family thing? I think instead it, it of would for me. Towards the horror well, side? Well, I think the problem is, like, when all you see is a billboard as a child walking by and seeing that, that poster and that billboard, it's sort of terrifying, and it didn't really seem like something that I would be allowed to watch as a child, but I think with the trailer and something that coming directly into your home, um, you see a lot, there's a lot more of an advertisement leading up to it uh, to make yourself aware of what it's actually all about. So I, I do think that more people will choose to watch this with their families. Yeah, well, and the, the, the legend of Rocky Horror and, and the reputation that precedes it can be often intimidating as well. I mean, to, to actually go to the theater and listen to these people who, who know the movie backwards and forwards, like, that, that can be sort of an intimidating experience. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to, to just have it right. in your house on your terms, it, right. it, it's a little more welcoming, I think. Yeah. So you saw it also like a challenge that people would be comparing you? I mean, I think that's always there with something that's so well loved um, mm -hmm. by an audience for so many, now 42 years. Um, but at the same time, we had Lou Adler at the helm of this production and Kenny Ortega directing us and uh, Tim Curry, a part of it, you know, as well. So uh, I f we felt the support of these people. So it, it took away from that level of intimidation mm -hmm. just enough so that we could do our jobs to the best of our capabilities, I think. More yeah. comfortably? Yeah, yeah, and we were encouraged to have fun and we, encur we were encouraged to take risks. So that sort of underlying current of the challenge, of the pressure, it didn't really exist in our rehearsal space and it didn't really exist on our set because we were all just having so much fun and, mm -hmm. and, and we, all just, we all just wanted to do the work so badly that we weren't really afraid of it. Was there anything from your character that was let's say, particularly strange or uncomfortable to, to deal with? Heels. <laughs> Heels are very strange and uncomfortable to deal with. Um, We're so used to it. Um, I know. I and can run with heels I, well, and stilettos. I can now. <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah, and, and, and I, I mean, it's, I've, I've never really just walked around in my underwear with, like, hundreds of people <laughs> around, so that was a bit of a learning curve, too. I mean, but at the same time, like, it was also kind of, like, liberating. Yeah. Like, we were all just, like, living in this very fluid, transparent world of, of no holds barred, anything goes, and that was actually really, really fun once we all just sort of immersed ourselves into that environment. Yeah, I, I agree. We had a lot of fun. I can tell. Yeah. Is there anything that your character does that there's no way you would do in real life? No. Hmm, <laughs> not, not necessarily. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I'd be necessarily all that excited about going out to dig up a body, to bring back to a laboratory, to be re to a know. reanimated corpse. Uh, I don't think I would necessarily be involved in that sort of business. But you're okay with obliterating people with lasers. Oh, yeah. No, That's yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a kid's play. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just a kid's show. It's just like... Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being with us in Entertainment Affair. I wish you the best. Thank you thank so you. much. And you cannot miss it.